themed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. Boy, and we expect it. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Block that. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Stay busy. Stay busy. Targeting a left hand down low. Iron's got a little something coming back at Just him. A like counter punch Just score. Like well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. There you go. There you oh, he just misses with that headshot. Now pay him back. Go pay him back. The Lions doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Very nice defensive guard there. Halfway through round number one. Blocks the headshot. Good work defensively by Iron. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, there, and then he timed there, him beautifully. He just missed that shot up top. Wow, what an uppercut. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Iron. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Like. Missed the target with That's that hook. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Little head hunting with the left. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Zones in on that overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while. You know, sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Iron's right hand scores well. Now, come on, let's go. <laughs> 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not much action as he just ties up.
Iron's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. A sharp and precise headshot by the Lion. Gets him with the right hand. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Do that again. That looked good. Do that one more time. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something back bad to happened to him. Back you know, to he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Unable to land no, clean no. by iron. A headshot blocked. Trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Iron's defense is paying off now. Let it go, let it go. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Fine looking right hand by Iron. Keep working, keep working. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Good biting, snapping shot by Iron. The Lions' defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Iron's proving to be elusive. Able to get rid of that one. with that headshot. We count down the final moments of this round. And this round comes to an end. The Lions ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Don't let him get at you. Not able to connect with the uppercut. The Lions' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. 
right to the belt line. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Lions so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when nice he misses, work, nice work. he's worried he's going to leave an opening. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Iron's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows is missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done. Big shot and crashing to the canvas after that uppercut. a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Nice. Real nice. A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort. Lion's strategy has been to control things on the outside. Get and the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Move, move. Irons making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, now. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Iron. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. Halfway into round number five here. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. 
The Lions crushed by a big right hand. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Focus, focus. Locking a score. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Iron. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Iron's down on your scorecard. I snuck a peek at your scorecard. He's down on your scorecard. But it's still a close and competitive fight, a fight that he's very much alive in. Yeah, he is, but he's got to go about it like the fight is up for grabs. He can't start saying, hey, you know, I think I'm a little bit ahead because that's a good way of getting yourself disappointed in anything in life. He better still go after it. Smart, but go after it. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Well timed by Iron. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. The Lions putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. And a big left hand by the Lion. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Iron's finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown, and Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically how are they acting? What are you seeing on that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Shake it off, shake it off. 
Come on, oh. now. Keep your feet. Come on, now. Good, clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Iron. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there. You got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove to the whole arena, hey, look at me. I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember. That's a good question. But you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. At the halfway point of round seven. Not able to land the headshot. The Lions got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's That's slipping okay. the straight okay. shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Irons down on your scorecard, Teddy. But even more problematic than that is just look at him. As we start this eighth round, you see a worn, torn fighter. This is a guy who just doesn't appear to have much left in the gas tank. Well, it's time for a pep talk. It's time for a little, you know, man-to-man -man talk in the corner right now for the trainer to ask him a right question now. point nice, blank. Nice. Do you want to be a future champion? You came to me. You asked me to make you a fighter. I didn't come to you. Now act like one. You're doing great, champ. Keep going. Pace yourself. Keep it up. Keep it up. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Wow, look at that. Training shots. Beat him to the punch. Come on, champ. Beat him to Watch the punch. The hook. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's 90 go. seconds to go, halfway through round eight. The Lions proving here that you can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting forth. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. He's tied. Yeah, champ. He's tied. Look at him. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Good-looking counterpunch. You got this all day, all day. <sighs> up. 
Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Attaboy, keep swinging, baby. What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool. He knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Let's move. a cycle right now that's not paying off for him he has been busy yes he's committed to trying to be on the attack but not enough of these punches are landing now i would not call this guy in from what i've seen to paint my house because i mean this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards i mean he's just throwing stuff in there like you said and it's just it's not it's not making a picture you want to see it's not accurate it's not effective Watch the hook! Watch the hook! Come on! The Lion's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. <laughs> Keep moving! Keep moving! That's it! That's it! Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Nice work! Nice Irons work! Iron's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Good job, good job, champ. Lions on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. <laughs> Come on, stay away from those. Come on now. Jab, jab, jab. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Watch that! And the round comes to an end. The Lions in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Able to dismiss it. Nice. Real nice. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keep moving. A piercing hook to the head by Iron. Looking good, baby. You're looking real good. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Take 
get too many punches. Hands up. Great movement to get away from those punches. Halfway through round 10. The Lions defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Good way to protect the midsection. Yeah, you got this one. You got this one, baby. Able to dismiss that body shot. Come on, baby. You're not focused. That's it. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now. Let me see. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact. What do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Left and right, left and right. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. And round 10 comes to an end. Championship rounds are here. Irons trailing on your scorecard by a significant margin. He has to go for broke at some point, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, you gotta think right now to him. You gotta say, forget about today. Think about tomorrow. It's tomorrow. You tell your fighter, it's tomorrow. Keep what kind of day is it? Good, because good. what you do in the next few minutes will tell that story. Jump on him right now. Nice, nice. Yeah, Tried the hook, didn't get it. Nice, Work the body. Oh. You're doing great, champ. Keep going. One, two, baby. One, two. Keep them popping. Keep them popping. Nice. Nice. nice strike after catching one by Iron. Blocks that punch. Halfway through this 11th round. Come on, champ. Beat him to the punch, now. Huh? Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Keep doing what you're doing. Blocked by iron. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Come on. <laughs> double up on those punches. Double up. Come on. Double up on the punch. Okay. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Yeah, I like what I see. 
I love what I see, baby. Yet another round you can say he easily won. He's been in complete control. You love to have these rounds as a fighter, and also you love to have these nights as a trainer, but sometimes you like just little moments early on that keep him reminded that there's still danger. He's almost forgotten that there's danger, and that could be the only risk here for him that he gets careless. Tied. Yeah, champion. Iron hit at. by a counter punch there. <laughs> Able to cover up that now gut. Go pay him back. Iron's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. And he's holding. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Nice block by Iron. Hook, hook, uppercut. And he just holds on there. Last minute of this last round. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Iron. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. A good block. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. Listen, he was the better fighter, he was the busier fighter, he's the fighter that absolutely deserves to have that unanimous decision go the way it did. And you never like to say this, I say it in jest, but this is one way you could have made up the scorecards before the fight. Unfortunately, sometimes these judges do, but tonight, it turned out okay. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.